In this video, we're going to show you how to change the stylus, or the tip, on a standard Chicago pneumatic CP9361, like the one I have in my hand here. This is one of the most popular air scribe engraving pens available today. Now in order to change this tip, we're going to use an adjustable wrench, a vise, and then we have the replacement parts here. The stylus replacement is the Chicago Pneumatic, part number P054177. We need one of those. And the O-rings that, that go over the stylus are Chicago Pneumatic, part number P083076. And there are two of those. So the first step in changing the tip, we're going to take this scribe and put it in the vise here. Now Chicago Pneumatic has made this easy for us by including two flat sections on the top part of the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and place those flat sections into my vise, clamp it down, take my adjustable wrench and, and put it on this hex right here on the end of the tool. Now this is a 7 16 hex if you have a 7 16 open-ended wrench, you could use that in place of this adjustable wrench. It's really up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen the body on this. And once I get it loose, I can just unscrew it by hand. I'm going to take it right off. Now to get the tip out, just simply tilt it up, tap it in your hand, and the tip will fall right out. And there's the stylus right there that's worn out, and you can see the two O-rings that are on there. We're going to take this whole piece and discard it. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my new parts here. Take my new stylus, put my two new O-rings right over it, just slide them all the way down, very simple. Take the body of the tool, tilt it up, and then take this stylus and drop it in their nose first. Give it a little shake to make sure it's all the way down. And then just simply screw it right back onto the tool. Once it starts to get a little difficult, we'll just take our wrench and snug it down there. Take it out of the vise and you're good to go. You have a brand new stylus and you're ready to get back to work as if the tool were brand new. And this concludes today's video.